What's cracking, peeps? This is A Train coming back at you with another episode of What's Do at Tackle Warehouse. It's that time of the year where your bass are either thinking about spawning or they are on the spawn. So I got some baits here that are gonna get you bit. First off, we got the Baca Burrito Nacho Swim Bait. So this is a bait, this time of year, it's got that great profile, about the size of a bluegill, kind of. There's different colors, but anytime you run this by a dock, you're gonna get bit. Um, those bass, they're super protective right now, getting ready to lay eggs, so they don't want bait fish coming around harassing their eggs or anything. So anything in this profile right here, you're just gonna get smoked on it. So definitely pick you up some of these. Next, by Gets It, we got the hybrid musky tube. Don't worry, it's not just for musky. Your bass will kill this thing. So it makes a great bed bait. You put something of this profile on a bed, you're gonna get bit. Um, not just for bed fishing. Um, you could swim these in the middle of the water column. You inshore fishermen, you're gonna love this bait. Love the 3D eyes, lots of tentacles. It's gonna give it so much action. Many different ways to rig this thing. Um, the most common is a jig head stuffed in there uh, with the exposed hooks. You could Texas rig them, Carolina rig them. Even rig them, rig them uh, weightless. Just many different ways to fish this thing, but it's definitely a bait you're gonna wanna have in your arsenal, whether you're saltwater or freshwater. Next, by Gets It, we got the pre-rigged underspin swim bait. Pre-rigged underspin swim bait. So this bait has been around since my childhood, always catching fish, still catches fish, but now they add that sexy little underspin. And underspin will enhance any bait you throw. You think I'm kidding? Throw one on a Senko, see what happens. But um, with this, this little combo right here, anytime you're faced, fishing uh, pressured legs behind other tournament competitors, that little extra flash right there could be all the difference of getting extra bites. So you always wanna have some underspins nearby. They just have their way of attracting fish when nothing else will. So definitely something you wanna have tied up on your deck right away. Next by Live Target, we got the Live Craw. So uh, this is a unique little um, bait, hard with soft appendages. So uh, this thing does three different things. Notice it's got this little weight on the bottom of it. So if you were to cast this thing, it'll just flutter down like next to a boat dock or a seawall. You're gonna get bit. Also this tail, it's almost like a bill of a square bill almost. So you could actually crank this thing along. And then a uh, third, you could count this down to the bottom and then just little quick little snaps of the rod kind of scoot it off the bottom three great ways to get bit off this thing. So definitely a great looking bait, something the fish haven't really seen before. Hard end plastic, definitely something worth checking out. Live target. Next by Spro, we got the Spro Blade Swinging Jig Head. So this is a unique little bait. It's got that little swinging head. So um, the swinging head is awesome in the bass fishing world. A lot of times it's used with uh, creature baits and everything. You could use this with a creature bait too, but it's got an extra little thing on it, a bladed swim jig, basically. So it's gonna cause so much vibration. And then that is enhanced with the swinging head. So no matter what you put on this, whether it's a fluke, I'd probably put a lizard on it just to get it to do something a lizard hasn't done before. But this is a very unique bait right here. I definitely urge you to give this a try. Um, whether you like swim baits or just different type of creature baits, craw baits, the sky's the limit on what you could put on this and it's gonna enhance the action tremendously with the blade and the swinging head. So definitely, I'm gonna add this to my arsenal. I would recommend you do the same thing. All right, next by Magnum Baits, we got the reg stick. So I'm a big fan of Magnum Baits. My last 10 pounder actually came on the Magnum size, but this is a slimmed down version of that, which I'm gonna add to my arsenal ASAP. Um, this thing flutters, it's got so much salt and it's heavy. So castability is no issue at all. Uh, the weight of it, you don't really need a nail weight or anything. It's gonna get down there at a fairly decent pace. Um, the one thing I love about this bait, it's very durable. With all the salt it has in it, it's still durable. So you're able to catch fish after fish and the things do not tear apart. So definitely a great bait. Like I said, my last giant, my last 10 came off the bigger size. So when I need to scale it down, this is definitely what I'm gonna be scaling down to because sometimes you got to downsize. 
you're seeing all these bad fish and they're seeing a lot of the same bait. So now you present a different profile and that's where this comes in right here. So the reg stick right here. Next by Manifold, we got the Castellanon heavy swim bait. So we already have the regular size. This is a heavier version for great cast ability. So the first thing I noticed when I picked this thing up was it's got three different eye ties, which means three different actions, whether you're on the surface, subsurface, or anywhere in between. The other thing I noticed is all these different moving segments right here, they all move in unison. You got to see the video, but um, it's real interesting. It's definitely something the fish have not seen. Um, just the movement on this bait is definitely going to catch their attention. Um, give this thing a few snaps of the rod. It's almost like a jerk bait with all these moving parts just flowing together. It's real interesting bait. Um, a lot of fish are going to bite this thing out of curiosity because they've never seen anything like it. So definitely check this bait out right here. Next, by Strike King, we got the Scoundbug. Very nice little craw bait right here. I love the profile of it. This is gonna, if you're fishing heavy cover like I do, this is gonna be able to get you in and get you out with very little foul ups, add a punch skirt to it. Um, other different uses too, you can put it on a jig head, jig trailer, ball head, there's so many different things, but uh, this little profile right here, these fish are fattening up um, to get ready for the spawn or they're recovering from the spawn. So one of the things they're gonna start feeding on is little crawdads. It doesn't always have to be the big ones. They're just gonna start gulping a bunch of these down to get their strength back. So this is definitely a bait. Even that color right there, Lake Falcon special, definitely a color you're gonna have nearby. So uh, Strike King, the Scoundbug. Thanks for tuning in, and for more information on the product seen here today, click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's episode, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Let the A-Train know which of these products you're most pumped about.